Six New York City contractors tonight are charged with illegally funneling money to Mayor Adams' campaign. Prosecutors say the contractors managed to go around the campaign donation limits by using straw donors to make extra contributions. Those contributions were then matched by the city. The mayor's campaign insists they knew nothing about the illegal donations. Here's Iowa News reporter Lauren Glassberg. These four defendants are charged in a scheme to raise money through straw donations for Eric Adams' mayoral campaign in 2021. The idea, according to the 27-count indictment, was to give out money orders to people who would then donate that money to the campaign and the money would be matched by public funds. So a $250 donation would garner a $2,000 match. The defendants would then allegedly pressure the mayor's office for construction jobs, assuming Adams was elected. In one email between two defendants, Shamsuddin Riza writes to Dwayne Montgomery, a retired police inspector, about a potential construction project in Brooklyn, saying, FYI, this is the one I want, safety, drywall, and security. One project, but we can all eat. Please show it to him before event. It will start when he's in office. It's important to note the mayor is not charged, nor is his campaign. A campaign spokesman saying, we would never tolerate these actions. But according to political consultant Hank Scheinkopf, this case doesn't help the mayor's narrative. This continues with a spate of non-positive press that clouds out the fact that murders are down in the city, that there are some strides being made against crime, and that he's got a set of accomplishments. No one's listening to them. What they see is the scandal. Out of an abundance of caution, the administration is reviewing all city agencies to see if any contracts were signed with any of these defendants, and if so, when. Two other defendants in this case will be arraigned at a later date. In Lower